off the brows. Wouldn't want to have bad eyebrows on YouTube. <laughs> Good morning, whole plant food friends. So one or two days a week, I usually am able to just like stay at home and chill out and get work done. And usually on at least one of those days, I kind of dedicate it to to being a food prep or a meal prep day. On these days, I like to get in the kitchen and just make a ton of food, usually all of our staple foods like some beans, grains, potatoes, sweet potatoes, etc. That way I will have plenty of food on hand throughout the week so that I can quickly prepare really healthy meals and check off my daily dozen. So the first step is what I actually did last night, which is choosing which beans I'm gonna be cooking today. So I picked out those beans and got them into nice big containers to soak. This week I'm gonna be making my old faithful beans, black turtle beans and chickpeas. Once those are soaked, I usually put them in the sink and then I add extra water and that helps to get rid of all of that foam that has formed on the top. A lot of people say to totally drain and rinse your beans. That would be to reduce the phytate level of those beans. I'm not really worried about phytates since there's so much research that links them to being extremely potent anti-cancer agents. So I, I don't know, I guess I'm happy to sacrifice a little bit of the iron for phytates, whatever. Point is, I'm not stressed about it. Once the foam is gone, I get my beans seasoned. If you guys have any questions about how to season your beans so that they will be delicious, check out my how to cook beans video. I'll link it up here and in the description box. I get all my seasoning veggies together and the herbs and spices. I put those into the beans and then I start cooking in my Instant Pot. Now, I'm not affiliated with Instant Pot in any way, but when it comes to food prep, the Instant Pot has made a huge difference in my quality of life. So you'll notice I'm making a ton of beans and that's because I'm going to divide them up into different size servings. I'm gonna put them in the freezer and those are gonna be the beans that I'm gonna be eating for the next three plus weeks. Once my first batch of beans are on, that's when I get my grains going. So since grains don't freeze well like beans, one batch of whole grains is gonna last me like you know, one to three days max. And then I just have to make some more, it's not a big deal. Today, I'm going to be making whole oat groats, which is exactly what it sounds like. It's just the whole oat grain. It's like if rice and barley had a gluten-free baby, it would be this. They're delicious, nutty, crunchy, a little bit chewy. Mm, everything I love about a whole grain. And because the oat groats are a nice, hearty whole grain, they're gonna be cooking, it'll probably take like uh, 40, 45 minutes. That means that it's almost exactly the same amount of time that it would take to steam potatoes. So I'm going to be steaming some regular potatoes and sweet potatoes on top of my whole oat groats. So with the one or two hours max of meal prep that I'm gonna be doing today, I'm going to end up with several days and or weeks worth of just are base staple foods. So that means every night when it comes time to have lunch or dinner, all I have to do is grab some pre-washed greens from the store, cut up whatever fresh veggies I want to, and I have a delicious, super nutritious, whole plant food meal that'll be ready in literally less than 20 minutes. Check all the box. And then of course, on the nights when I have more time or energy, I can do things like use the beans that I've cooked as the base to make, say, black bean burgers, use the chickpeas to make hummus. There are all kinds of options once you have these basics prepped. All right, I will see you guys when this stuff is done and I have lunch. the least vegetal lunch I've ever had, I think. So I just have the fruits of my morning here. Oats, black beans, some russet potatoes. I don't feel like cutting up veggies right now, so that's where we're at. This will be lunch, and I will see you guys for dinner.
All right, so there is dinner. Have all of the goodness that I prepped today. Whole oat groats, russet potatoes, some chickpeas are hiding in there, you can't really see them. And then I cut up a bunch of fresh veggies. Oh, there are bugs everywhere. Some herbs, and then I have bok choy hiding under there as well. That'll be my greens for tonight. And then I made a really simple dressing with tahini, a little bit of tamari, and the savory spice blend from How Not to Die cookbook. And then I put just a few little dribbles of sweet chili sauce on top because I am sincerely addicted to the sweet chili sauce right now. <laughs> Petunia, you scared the crap out of me. Anyway, that will do it for this week's What I Eat in a Day. I hope it was helpful for you guys to see how I get prepared for feeding myself whole plant foods for the entire week. Levi too. I keep you pretty well fed, right babe? Yeah. Oh, can you see me? You're like a shadow. Oh, shit. And as always, until next time, make better... What are you doing? Huh? What? Oh. I thought you were, like, biting my butt. I'm sitting down. And as always, until next time, make... Damn it, now you're really <laughs> doing it. Until next time, make better choices for yourself. No one's gonna do it for you. And take really, really such good care of yourselves. I will see you all very soon. Bye! So I decided to eat a little bit more today. We're watching a scary movie. So we did some air popped popcorn. I used some of the chickpea water to make a sauce with tahini, tamari, and Dr. Gregor's savory spice blend. And then we have some gluten free, these old crunchy arare crackers. And then I threw some chickpeas in. It was good. <laughs> I didn't get one yet. Oh, kind of concentrated in the middle. Don't forget. Okay, we're gonna finish our movie. And I will see you guys next time.